All right, this is a Bignonia Capriolata. Capriolata, cross vine. Okay. One reason that they call it cross vine is because of this opposite leaf arrangement. And so you see that there'll be uh, <laughs> leaves on either side of the node here. And then there's actually a trifoliate. This is actually a trifoliate uh, leaf arrangement. Well, you say that there's only two leaves there, yes. But the tendrils, and this is the way that this particular vine climbs, this is actually a modified leaf, okay? So, there's two leaves here that are sort of long and uh, lanceolate, I suppose. Okay, very, uh, light, starting out light green when they are, are juvenile, <coughs> becoming dark green in maturity. All right, and then where the third leaf should be is a tendril, okay? And that is, wraps around here, and if I tried to pull it off, I'd break it, so I'm going to leave it alone, okay? You'll also notice that, like some of the uh, uh, thorns and things that we've seen previously, that on each, either side of the nodes there, there are two leaflets, so opposite leaf arrangement and then two leaflets on either side of the node, which actually... Again, it's trifoliate because of the tendrils. Okay. You'll see that the young tendrils are sort of a, a light greenish color. The mature tendrils become uh, a more uh, tannish to brown. Okay. All right. And then, toward the end of the uh, end of the winter, in the late winter and the early spring, we begin to see these blooms. Okay. We see buds that are sort of uh, almost look like a little balloon to some extent, and you can nearly about pop it. All right. And then, this is the actual bloom, okay? It's not actually two valves, it's all one uh, corolla there, but uh, the way that it is divided, okay, you've got the, uh, the two little sections up on top, and then these two tend to curl back, and this one sticks out, so it almost looks like a star if you look at it upside down. And then you can see the reproductive structures uh, inside the actual growth there, okay? Typically, the flowers are Sort of a really dark orangish, uh, almost to a burnt orange, back to almost uh, more pink, and then the throats will be sort of a lighter orange to a yellow. Okay, you can see there. Flowers don't last a, a real long time. Uh, individual flowers maybe last two or three days, and then they'll uh, they'll die. Off. But these things they make a lot of uh, uh, flower pretty profusely. You can see. This is cross vine. You can see that uh, there's big panicles of blooms that are beginning to uh, prepare to emerge. And then you can see the fruit that occurs. It's a little, uh, almost looks like a little bean pod or something. Okay. So when does this flower? When does it flower? Uh, it's getting ready to right now. So late winter, early spring. It just last. Like, oh, it'll last until it gets hot. So it's it's a pretty. Probably here it'll bloom sporadically till around end of May. This one by June. Okay. And you can see a lot of different uh, types of blooms are different cultivars and uh, a number of them that are really nice. Okay. So you'll also see that the, the uh, calyx here, after the flowers are dropped, are relatively unique and, and sort of interesting. Okay. All right, about zone six through ten or so, there are different kinds that uh, that work in different areas. But... Questions? <laughs>